Hello, good morning. It's Friday the 25th. I'm FX Plue and this is the Market Brief. So the MPC did nothing. Uh, they remained in line with other major economies, uh, deciding that stimulus is more important than tackling rising inflation. As such, they left bond purchases and interest rates unchanged. So the debate continues and it's still a tricky call between uh, inflation and growth as a uh, the most important driver for the global economy. Um, Within that debate, um, it seems that most of the market is more concerned about the inflationary risk uh, than most central bankers. And perhaps that's only natural. Traders, of course, crave the volatility uh, that would come from any action taken against inflation. But meanwhile, the central bankers' mandate is for stability and calm. Uh, So, they're naturally more risk averse, uh, especially in these unprecedented times. And they would get the blame if any action backfires. Uh, So for the time being, uh, the question remains, will inflation force the central banks into action or is it something that they can simply ignore with limited risk? Um, Only time will tell. Uh, The market reaction to the Bank of England non-event was pretty mixed. Sterling traded in a one cent range against the dollar between 139.85 and 138.85. We opened this morning around 139.20. Over in the US, uh, it looks like the economy is in full recovery mode. Belief is growing that the employment market may have bottomed out. Uh, An expectation is growing that next week's non-farm payrolls may post a strong number. In due course, employment numbers may see a knock if Biden authorises more stimulus, but without another injection of free money, there seems to be a much better uptake of the available jobs for now. Um, New York Fed president was on. He doesn't think that unemployment has bottomed out, uh, so he thinks that discussion about raising interest rates is a little premature. US inflation is already at 5% though, so there is a discussion to be had uh, about why it's risen so far so fast. Um, Low interest rates tends to be the blame uh, at the moment, but that is ignoring the unprecedented levels of stimulus that has been injected into the economy. But with inflation growing and um, the only action to be reiterating the transitory label Um, The consumer may draw on his purse strings until the market becomes a little bit more rational, worth keeping an eye on consumer spending and retail sales there. For now though, the dollar index remains around 91.80 and euro dollar pulled up way short of challenging 120. We peaked at 119.55 yesterday um, and we opened this morning slightly lower, uh, around 119.40. So that's it from me, capping off another week. I uh, hope it dries up for the weekend. Join me again on Monday. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.